finally left Peddy after sort of, well, I think three weeks, maybe even a bit longer. Top 10 videos taken moments before disaster. No, Hello and welcome back to To Get Lost. Last week we'd just been alerted to the fact a hurricane was forming in the Med and heading straight for Simi. As you can imagine, we spent a long time debating the best moves to make to keep ourselves and the boat safe. When something like this happens, the sailing forums and Facebook groups are an incredibly useful source of information, with everyone keen to help and lots of more experienced sailors offering their advice. We started to search for a hurricane hole that we could reach in time, a bay with as much all-round protection from the wind and waves as possible, but also somewhere with good holding, preferably sand or mud, and enough room for boats to be spread out in case of dragging. This one in the north of Leros seemed our best option, and would take us about 24 hours to reach with the wind against us the whole way. As only one forecast was highlighting the approaching Medicaid, we decided our best option was to wait a day and see what happened. We got lucky, but many others in Greece didn't. The path of the Medicaid changed and the Ionian was hit hardest with winds of 75 miles per hour. Widespread devastation was caused by flash floods and landslides and sadly several people lost their lives in the cyclone. We felt incredibly lucky to have narrowly escaped the hurricane, especially as the first-hand accounts of the cyclone started appearing on the sailing forums and we read about people's horrific experiences while they sat it out in various places. It's our last few days in Simi. Um, we've spent three weeks here. It's probably the longest place we've ever spent anywhere except for in the yard. Um, yeah, it really feels like home now. We've been on the town quay. We've been really lucky to just get this free spot on the town quay. And um, yeah, we've just stayed here. It's been really easy to go and get water. It's been really easy to go and get food whenever we want. Um, We've just been going for walks, doing a lot of work, catching up on a lot of like life admin, like trying to plan what we're doing over winter, stuff like that. While we're somewhere safe, taking Tiny Cat for some walks and yeah, we've just really sort of settled in here I think. Um, a bit nervous, it's the first time me and Adam um, will be, have gone sailing just us two for a long time. <laughs> months I would say because we've had crew and then we've been here for three weeks so um yeah make sure we still remember how to sail uh, <laughs> and we're going to go over to Tilos the wind's not that favorable tomorrow but we just want to get moving we haven't had a weather window really we've got big winds coming tonight um, so we'll wait for those to pass we had the Medicaid that we had to wait until we knew exactly where that was going. We didn't want to move until we were sure that that we were going to be well out of the way of that. Um, so yeah, weather's starting to clear up a bit and then we should, once we're going to move to Tillos, which is sort of about seven hours away, and then we should get some southerlies, which will take us up towards Liros. You can feel the wind starting.
Teddy after sort of, well I think three weeks, maybe even a bit longer, which is a really long time for us to have been somewhere, but it was so needed. We feel really rested now, really caught up with work, caught up with all the life admin that we needed to do. Um, and now we're on our way to Tilos, Tylos. Um, so yeah, we're feeling a bit rusty actually. <laughs> Three weeks just on the town quay, not even at anchor. We're a bit like, oh, I remember this sailing thing. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're, we're, go we're taking it slow and we've got a nice calm day. The wind should be picking up, but by then hopefully we'll have reacquainted ourselves with sailing and yeah, we've got a nice sort of seven hour passage over and hopefully good weather. Hopefully we'll catch a fish and hopefully a tiny cat will stop biting my leg and hopefully um, Adam won't be too tired and won't need too much more coffee to wake up. That is the passage update. Top 10 videos taken moments before disaster. Yeah, so much for watching and we hope you enjoyed if you did hit the like and subscribe button and check out our website togetlost.com for loads more information about living a life at sea as always a huge thanks to our patrons for supporting these videos follow the link below for early release videos and behind the scenes news of our adventures have a lovely week guys